Бабо, ядат ми се кюфтета. Миналия път бяха супер. Радвам се за тебе. И ще ми направиш ли пак, не? Еми добре, ма този път са от картофи. Ма как така от картофи? Искам смесо. Еми края на месеца е. Няма, няма, бабо, няма. Hi there comrades, it's love to see you. I hope you're doing well. As I said in previous videos, potatoes are holy for slavs and for a ton of other nations. But we tend to have a special connection to them. They're one of the most versatile products you can have these days and they can be used in ton of recipes like soups, stews, fried, boiled, mashed, in salads and I can continue with that for a long long time. So as you can imagine we Slavs love to find new ways to utilize potatoes. Essentially when it's end of the month but you want a nice kyfte and you don't have money for meat, guess what? You can make the kyfte from potatoes, yeah. All jokes aside, you don't need to have to wait for the end of the month to try this. They are quite cheap to prepare and you won't need a ton of fancy products to prepare them. They are my mother's all time favorite meal and today I'll show you how she prepares them but with a slight twist from me. Typically she is frying them in sunflower oil as we fried our meat kyfteta in the video for meat kyfteta but today we will take a healthier route and we will use the oven to prepare them. They will still be crispy but a little bit healthier. Aside from that we will prepare a nice milky garlic sauce which goes perfectly with them and not only with them with a ton of other things. So feel free to use it as you see fit. With that said let's see the Slav shopping list that you need for today so you can enjoy this Slav potato supremacy. You need a lot of potatoes, the more the better. I found almost kilo and a half there. The other thing you need is one huge onion directly from the garden, my cart was small and I almost didn't fit it in. You need three of these failed chickens, 150 grams of curds or feta cheese or the best Bulgarian white cheese, some white dead, some breadcrumbs, the spice of all spices, of course, the summer savory and some pepper and salt just for the taste. Basically every meal has them. After that you enter secret codes for the Slavic sequence for making a potato kyfte. You know the drill, take your time to peel the potatoes. On your way to becoming a Slav master chef, you must know how to do that already. With dedication and patience you can peel all the potatoes in the world. Cut the potatoes so they can boil faster, we'll need them mashed so no need for them to keep their form when boiling. Add in some hot water so they will cook faster, put on the stove on high heat when the water starts boiling, turn to medium and just boil them. After that use a strainer and extract the potatoes from the water into a bowl of choice. I use Comrade Orange Bowl as always. Comrade Orange Bowl is my favorite bowl by the way. Mash them however you can, I use a special service utensil directly taken from our comrades from China. It's not of a great quality but it does the job well. It's okay to have some clumps or pieces but if you're truly dedicated mash it well. Take the cry apple from the cart and take revenge upon it for no particular reason. We don't want onion pieces as they won't cook properly but we want the taste of the onions. You can either grate the onion, use onion powder or make a mush out of it with a chopper. Get to the chopper. Throw the onions into the potato. Add one of the eggs, the other ones we'll need for the crust and the breading after that. Add in the curds or the cheese or whatever you use, some pepper, salt and of course the summer savory. Please don't forget it. Start mixing with the spatula and realize it's kind of useless, time to get dirty and do the real job. Utilize your hand and give it a nice gentle mix. Make sure the egg and the curds are well incorporated into the potatoes. It should feel like a sticky 
dough. Give it a gentle slap to assert dominance. Prepare the breading stations. Flour, breadcrumbs, scramble to eggs well until yolk and white emulsify and after that start with making the potato kufte. Basically, I will use a scale to make every potato bowl 100 grams. First I go with the flour, after that the egg, after that the breadcrumbs. Add on a baking sheet covered with paper or baking foil, whatever you have will do the job. Repeat until no potato mixture is left. After that take a brush and brush some sunflower oil on the top of each kufte. This will make them very crispy on the top. Make sure no potato kufte is left unbrushed. Essentially these are big potato croquettes. Look at these beauties. Bake them with a fan if your oven has one on 200 degrees celsius or 392 fahrenheit until golden brown. They are quite crispy so make sure to eat some of them while hot. You can store them in the fridge, uh, after they uh, cool down they still remain soft but the, the crust will be gone. Bonus loveness. Bonus round, time to prepare a nice sauce that goes perfectly with our potato kufte. Uh, get a bowl, add in 6 or 7 generous spoons of yogurt or a milky thing of choice. Skur will do the job too. Add in some garlic powder, you can use fresh garlic if you have. Salt a little bit, put some olive oil to taste, mix with the whisk until creamy. After that chop some chives or some onions really well and put them in the yogurt mix. Give it a nice stir, try if it does need some additional seasoning and serve it in the cart. Slap difficulty level, 3 out of 5. The recipe is quite easy to follow, to be honest, it just takes time to boil the potatoes, to prepare the mix, to shape it, bread it and bake it. But hey, you can do a big batch and have some of these bad boys for the whole week. They reheat well and remain really soft. Serve them with the sauce on the side and with some vegetables. You can also add some protein source of choice. Another option for preparing them is to fry them in a pan with sunflower oil, of course. Um, as we did with the real dew meat kufte and yeah that's basically it the energy for one potato cutlet or kufte is 129 calories two fats 23 carbs and five protein a nice and tasty carb source if you ask me really nice and crispy on the outside and soft on the inside the hardest part is not to eat them all in one sitting i hope you like this slavic goodness and love you next time <music>